Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to my Facebook Live today. It is, um, oh my gosh, it's July 7th, 6th. It's July 6th. I hope everyone had a wonderful 4th of July. Everyone's feeling rested and getting back to things. Today, I'm going to go ahead and do a Facebook Live on um, what happens if you have online estate planning documents. I get this question a lot. And we've had a couple of consoles for people who have uh, plans that are provided either by an employer or provided through an online system or they downloaded them off the internet and they want to know, do they work? What should I be looking for if I have one of these plans? So the first thing is take your estate plan out and look at it. The first, um, you sort of want to do an assessment of what documents are included. If you get a trust-based plan and you're in California, so you probably do have a trust-based plan if you have real property or minor children, you need a healthcare directive, a power of attorney for finance, a trust, two wills if you're a couple, one will if you're one person, uh, an assignment of property, and if you have minor children, you'll need a guardianship nomination and a schedule of assets. So it's sort of like the basic things that you will need to be looking for. So if you're missing any of those documents, write them down and then go ahead and figure out how to get those documents or find out, consult with an attorney of, do you actually need them? Because you might not actually need a trust in California. You might have um, assets that don't need to go um, be disposed of via, via trust. Second tip, make sure that they are valid in the state you're in. So if you had a trust created in another state or an online system that doesn't have California specific documents, please get those updated. It's really, really important that your documents are, are specific to the state that you're living in related really to powers of attorney and healthcare directives because there are places and entities that will not will not honor those documents unless they're valid in California. We're in California, so if you're somewhere else, look for your state. The second, third thing, huh, we're already at number three. The third thing is um, make sure your plan says what you want it to. So um, if you have minor children, it's really important to you that your kids don't get their money until they turn, let's say, 30, and your estate plan says, I give it to my children outright, and they're only 12, you have a problem. Your trust no longer does what you wanted it to do. So it may have been that one of the boxes got checked incorrectly when that plan was being created online. So it's really important to make sure that the beneficiaries you have um, are the ones that you want and that they're getting it at the right ages. Fourth thing, make sure you have trustees. I know that sounds sort of funny, um, but I reviewed a document many years ago and it was created online or it was created from maybe someone who pulled a document online and then, you know, sort of messed with it. And it didn't have a trustee and it didn't have a beneficiary. So it literally was just super useless paper. And I had to give the bad news to the would have been the beneficiary, but for the fact that the trust was signed and notarized, but didn't actually have any beneficiaries or trustees. So no one had authority to act and no one was getting what was in the trust. So the whole thing had to go to court and it was a, just a huge, huge nightmare. Fifth thing, if we're on five, I'm not counting anymore, I'm just gonna keep giving you guys tips, is make sure it is executed. I cannot tell you the number of times I have reviewed estate planning documents that were created online only to find out they were never signed. And if they were never signed and never executed properly, again, you've paid money for paper that does nothing, absolutely nothing. So flip to the back page of the document, there should be a signature place. And then in California, your um, power of attorney and your trust need to be notarized. So if there's a notary block and there's no notary there, that document is probably not actually um, valid anymore. Healthcare directives can be witnessed or notarized. Wills must be witnessed by two people. So if you have a will and it's not witnessed by two people, it is also either not valid or has some serious problems and we'll need some court intervention to go over them. So that's sort of the basics of um, the things you should be looking for if you have online documents. Um, a schedule of assets is also really important and trust funding. The last thing, and I always talk about this probably with every single client I deal with. So you've got the trust-based plan and then you have a house, your house has to make it into the trust. So there has to be a deed that says, I, person, give my house into my trust. Signed, date, notarized, recorded with the county recorder. So if that wasn't done, again, you have fancy paper. Your trust doesn't do anything unless there's something actually in the trust. And that's sort of my PSA on online documents. Um, they can be really effective. There's online statutory forms you can Google. Um, it, 
statutory form power of attorney, statutory will, advanced healthcare directive. A lot of those forms are easy to find online. Make sure you find the right one, make sure you find the most recent one and make sure you have, you know what you're signing and that it's executed properly. And if you really have questions, please consult with an attorney in your area that can give you a, an advising kind of like second look as to do your documents work and do they do what you want them to do? That's sort of the most important thing to think about. So if there's any other questions, please feel free to message me on Instagram or Instagram or Facebook. You can find us on Instagram actually too. On Facebook, you can also info, email info at Goff Legal and we can put you in the queue for next time's um, live session.